thank you very much uh, for your time uh, with us this afternoon sir okay. so obviously um a very surreal end to a surreal uh, journey for you uh, how has it been so has it sunk in yet that you are finally the prime minister of Fiji once again well i was uh, uh working hard uh, during uh, the campaign and i had at that time i had to uh, uh picture myself uh, at the tape at the end of the campaign and at the tape there were two uh, scenarios one uh, becoming prime minister and uh, the other becoming uh, possibly becoming a member of the opposition the option of uh, uh, not becoming a member of the opposition uh, by just not not uh, agreeing with the terms of the with the results of the year uh, of the election was an option at the time so we started making sure we started uh, voicing our concerns about the uh, the functions uh, that led up and the various uh, uh, processes and then uh, they listened to us, they stopped, they did the manual count, but we're still not totally satisfied that uh, it has turned out the way it should have, or it should. So, at the time I said, well, what if I became Prime Minister? So I started thinking, like, what else? After election, swearing in, uh, pick uh, cabinet members and getting them to uh, get straight into the work mm -hmm. and it was important to make sure that they were able to work with the civil servants and who in the civil service uh, did we foresee to work seamlessly with us and those are the ones that we had uh, tried to to uh, anticipate working with those we knew would be difficult to work with from their point of view because they have been totally loyal to a regime that had been there for 16 years it's unfair to expect them to to totally change uh, in one minute when the vote was taken they became boo we got new leaders we got new ministers uh, how can we work with them? Will we be able to work with them? We've given everything to the outgoing uh, government. So we have to be very human in our consideration. And I was uh, psychologically preparing myself for that. Uh, the best thing that happened to me in the last 23 years was having the Manimarama military regime take away my pension. Because I knew then that, uh, well, some of us will have to go through some uh, very distressing moments in life. And I knew it was uh, uh, possible to live through something like that. So I was comforted because the, if we ask people to resign or if they resign just because they couldn't work, they've not been able to work with us because they've given everything to the uh, old, the previous government. I understand, and I understand there will be uh, some uh, difficulties, but when it is part of the process rather than forced upon you like it was on me, then you have to adapt very, very quickly. Those are the things that were going through my mind that we were looking forward to the end of election, the announcement of results, and what do we do after. So since taking uh, up office, how has it been, sir? Have you uh, met with uh, your staff? Uh, I met with the uh, with uh, uh, the prime minister, the PS in the prime minister's office. Met uh, briefly with the uh, secretary of the cabinet on uh, the day of the swearing-in, and we told them, "Look, be prepared to brief the incoming cabinet on." Uh, what to expect, what is expected from us. And in the meantime, I've been working on our 
on our manifesto and uh, what we have to do in the first 100 days. So I've got my notes here on <laughs> the things that we have to do uh, and, and the deadline, you know. And by the 10th of April 2023, we've got to complete the 100 days uh, list of activities. So what, uh, what can the public expect, sir? We, public? They can expect us to go through this and, and do everything we said we would do. Uh, the first thing that came out of Parliament was this one, performance, performance, legislature. And the Speaker said, come back in 14 days with the new standing orders. And that's the, f the first lot done. So all these will have to be completed in, in 14 days. And the rest uh, about uh, standing, uh, about the uh, select committees and all, we'll have to see how, how that goes because the... Uh, we're thinking of returning the select committee, uh, the public account, account committee to the opposition. But uh, because we're going to be dealing with a lot of things that the, the current opposition did as government, we would still like to control that committee. So, uh, because we would like the people to know where, eh? the public to know how they had performed in the execution of their duties as cabinet, uh, particularly in the management of the economy. Does that also tie in with an independent audit that your government will conduct on what has happened over the past year? Uh those areas that we are not happy with, uh, not totally satisfied, and uh, as far as we are concerned, while, while two years I was in uh, in uh, the opposition, and the last two years uh, of this uh, last parliament, we have to make sure that what we, what the government said we were getting from the international community to assist us through COVID and. Uh, uh, for the uh, alleviation of the effects of climate change uh, had actually arrived and used for those specific purposes. So th the audit will continue. Any update on when uh, Cabinet will have its uh, first sitting? Um We're having our first informal one day after tomorrow <laughs> where we will be briefed on the state of the economy uh, and it's very informal because uh, we'll be there listening to the civil servants telling us uh, where we are. And uh, you know, during these 100 days, there are some issues that are very pressing, and people would like uh, to know what your government is going to do it with regards to that. Um, so things like you know, cost of living, water, and electricity issues yeah. as well. Is there any assurance that you can provide to the people that your you government know, will look into these issues? We cannot immediately uh, effect uh, reductions mm -hmm. because the uh, the the revenue forecast had been uh, done in the. In the uh, in the last budget and uh, if we uh, apply shock to the revenue side uh, without uh, a sudden improvement on uh, of, uh, on the in, on the uh, the bottom line we would like to see uh, the expenditure and the revenue harmonizing continuing to harmonize uh, at the moment uh, we do not see any any signs of any uh, sudden increase in our uh, in our revenue mm. so we do not want to suddenly increase some of the expenditures uh, and we will probably run out this this budget according to the forecast and then uh, bring in those measures that uh, we would like to achieve uh, uh, the the uh, target uh, budget targets for the full budget year, but that'll be after the 100 days. Those that can be done within the 100 days, and the 100 days is up before the the budget, so the 10th of April. Mm. So whatever can be done in the 100 days, we'll have to do. So uh, in yesterday's uh, briefing with the Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Kamikamida, he also spoke about uh, you know, the reduction in ministerial uh, salaries and as well, and he referred it to you to your good judgment that you will be making an announcement with regard Yes, it will be. We will make the announcement and uh, after all the calculations are done, uh, I see the outgoing Attorney General uh, fired a parting shot at us at the size of cabinet. But when you uh, put that up against the uh, reduction in ministerial salaries, you'll find that it's cheaper than what they had. Just last question from my side, sir. Um, any message you'd like to pass along to the Fijians uh, for the coming new year? 
Well, I think if we continue to live res responsibly, spend uh, wisely, uh, they should have a smooth transition into the into the uh, the new uh, outlook on uh, on government finances and uh, and government budgeting. Uh, if we can do that on our own, you know, make do with what we have, uh, I'm sure we will enjoy a slight improvement initially, and uh, then bigger strides as we get into the four years of governance. Any uh, message for uh, you know your, your voters as well for getting you to this? I just continue to thank them. It's been uh, uh, a lot of hard work. Like the young people, the, our, our youth volunteers, and they were real volunteers. No pay, nothing came to them. We were cooperating with them in, in sports and then uh, <coughs> the, the law came in, we couldn't couldn't help them. Uh, there were still people who were able to uh, help by employing our young people in uh, in their own companies and little things like cutting the grass and mowing the lawns. Little things like that that kept them going, kept the party going. Happy New Year to everybody.